What is going on YouTube? I am back with another video and uh, this is a fix that I found for an issue uh, I ran across when trying to use my VPN. In this case, I, I use NordVPN, but it's actually apparently an issue that uh, crops up uh, from time to time with um, pretty much any VPN. So what, what was happening is um, I, first of all, use a VPN full time. In other words, I'm basically always connected to it. Um, and uh, the only time I really disconnect is if I'm trying to use my Fire TV remote app or something like that, or Roku TV remote app, um, either one of those, um, because those never work. I never can't get those to work with a VPN for some reason. But anyway, that's a different issue. Otherwise, I'm virtually always connected to a, uh, a VPN. So the problem I ran across, though, is um, with, with my carrier, uh, T-Mobile, and I think this really came up when I switched phones. I recently bought an LG phone. I had been using a Pixel. Um, and what basically was happening is whenever I was connected to mobile data, then uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't have any internet connectivity with my VPN. So I, you know, I disconnect from my Wi-Fi, I connect to mobile data, VPN's turned on, and it doesn't do anything. And I found out what the issue is, is that pretty much all uh, VPN providers, Nord included, use IPv4, the older uh, protocol for whatever reason, and almost all uh, mobile data carriers, at least here in the United States, use IPv6. So, so uh, that's apparently was causing a breakdown in the connection, which I'll show you in just a minute. So right now I'm connected to LTE. I have my VPN turned on, and basically this is what would happen every time I would I would disconnect from my Wi-Fi. So the solution I found, first let me turn off the turn Nord off here. But the solution that I ended up finding had to do with the APN settings. Or so the default settings here um, basically just allow for these default settings here are just going to be IPv6, as you can see there on the bottom, near the bottom, and the APN protocol. So essentially what you're going to need to do is create a new set of, uh, you're just going to create a new APN. Now you can use the same settings. You can also alter the settings somewhat, uh, you know, for instance, to bypass throttling on hotspots, which I talked about in another video, so I'm not going to talk about it here. But the basic idea is you need to create a new APN. Um, you need to create a new APN, and you need to set the APN protocol to IPv4, not IPv6. And that will eliminate the issue. Let me just show you. So I just switched over to my IPv4 APN settings, and I'm going to let that reconnect. There we go. There's the LTE connection. And let me go back to speed test and just show you what the difference. Before, it couldn't connect at all to the remote server. And now, bam. Tad slow, but it does actually work. That's, you know, that's kind of a different issue. Thanks, T-Mobile. They're kind of, they're on the slow side in the city I live, but they, they are fairly reliable and they're cheap. So it works. But as you can see, that completely you know, kind of killed this whole issue of uh, not being able to connect. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to uh, do a little more experimentation. Uh, Nord, I'm going to continue to kind of play around with this thing because um, actually I, I noticed that Nord, uh, they have a new thing in their app called Nord Linux or Lynx, however you say that. Anyway, um, it does seem to to sometimes bypass this issue uh so i'm kind of thinking nord Linux is using uh or linux is you however you say that anyway it, it's Linux actually it's the the animal not the operating system anyway um this here is uh their new um where is it their new protocol this one here and i'm going to continue to play around with this so there may be another video about this because i it kind of seemed to be bypassing the issue. 
Um, so I'm kind of thinking maybe that that new version, that new protocol for Nord might be using IPv6, but I'm not entirely sure. So stay tuned for another video on that. In the meantime, uh, you can switch your APN settings to IPv4, and that does completely fix this issue of not being able to connect to a VPN when on a mobile data. Hope the video helps, and I will catch you all on the next video. Peace out.